Hi everybody, welcome back to Imperial and Truck of the Week. I am here with Corey and we have a very fun custom build. You wanna tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, this right here is for A&W Sanitation. Mark Larkins and the boys, thanks for your business. Um, this is a 2022 Western Star 4700 SP. It's got the Detroit 13 liter 470 horse motor in it. Allison 4500 series transmission. Um, it is a stainless steel tank. That's a stainless steel number four finish. 4,200 gallons. Um, this truck does have the wireless remote system and we will go over that with you at the end of the video. It does have the 4310 slim line blower and as you can see with the lift axle and the fuel, we have you know, just enough space to work with here. So that really helped out to get this all to fit on the truck. It's got a 13,200 pound steerable lift axle. It's all stainless steel trays. Um, it's got, you know, we were so limited on frame space, we put a box upstairs here. So they got something to, you know, somewhere to store it for some storage. It's got two inlets and one discharge valve, all heated. Stainless steel bumper, stainless steel tanks. I want to go with the stainless bumper. Um, work lights on the top standard. He's got a backup camera as well, which can be adjusted. And then we get to the other side. And we do have a hydraulic driven jetter package. With the Allison 4500, you're kind of limited to go hydraulic with the jetter because of the PTO output being on the top of the transmission. And then we went with the vertical silencer too, just to kind of save the frame space. So we basically took every bit of space we had on this truck to make it all happen. But inside here, it's got the Hene hose reel, that jetter, it's got the Lance, the wand, tip kit. What we'll do is fire up the truck and go over some of the functions on the remote. If you want to come in here and take a look, I'm just going to turn the remote on. This truck does have the digital C level, so there's your readout for that. So now to use the wireless remote, basically all you have to do is turn the master power on, and then we go to the PTO controls. You have your blower on and off and your jetter on and off. We're not going to run the jetter because it is winterized because it is getting a little bit colder for delivery here. Um, so basically, we'll turn on the blower. So that engages the PTO. And then the next button is the RPM. That'll take it right up to speed. Hit it again to come down. I'll just leave it at low idle just so we can kind of hear here. And then now, with the blower on to go into vacuum, right now it's in neutral, you just hit vacuum. You can see the valve handle go over, back to neutral. And it's gonna count down 10 seconds just so we don't get vapor locked. And then after it, it hits zero, you could then go to pressure, back to neutral. So everything's right there. I mean, you got it all, all your controls right here. This also will open and close the valves on the rear. So we got intake, open, and close. And they wanted to leave one manual just in case something fails or something like that down the road. And there's also a switch right here for that valve to open and close. So basically, you could be, you could run your hoses down to the manhole and you can turn your PTO on, you can go into vacuum, control your RPMs, even control the jetter on and off. So I mean, it's. It makes this a one-person truck. If you guys want to see the remote in action, we use it when we went out OJs. We'll throw it in the description below. So yeah, if you got any questions on a custom build like this, definitely give me a call at Imperial, 1-800-558-2945. We also have a stock website that has all of our units that we currently have, and that's www.sendingtruckcenter.com.